In today's video, we're going to show you how to propagate a snake plant from the pups, or also known as the babies that grew off of the mother plant snake plant. It's very common for your snake plant to grow babies on the side of it, and what we're going to be doing is remove them. These are also known as pups, and what we're going to be doing is cutting them off, or sometimes referenced as dividing the pups. This is one of the most effective ways to propagate a snake plant because you already have the babies like half grown. What is up? What is up guys? My name is Chris and welcome to the channel. This is houseplant therapy. As you can tell, we love houseplants. If that interests you, please consider subscribing. All right, so let's deep dive into propagating this snake plant. Let's divide up these pups. So as you can see, our snake plant has grown a bunch of babies on the side of it. And this is great because we're going to propagate them. And you can see the roots are absolutely madness on this plant. They're growing out the bottom and it's just time to kind of divide up these babies and repot the mother plant. So step number one is going to be to remove the pot from your snake plant. You can try to be as gentle as you can with the roots, but if we're being honest, we're going to probably tear a lot of this up. So, um, and you got to remember, have a pot size ready to go for your mother plant. You're probably going to want to upgrade in pot size. God, look at the roots on this. Absolutely insane. Um, this is a perfect candidate for repotting. So what we're doing is we are potting up a size of one inch in size. What I'm saying is you don't want to repot the mother plant plant in anything two inches larger in diameter so as you can see it's really close in size but the depth is actually a little deeper because you got to remember the roots are actually growing at the bottom and that's super helpful for the plant so then the next step is going to be to get your small little pots ready for the baby plants right or i guess you could call them pups and don't forget the snake plant is from the succulent family so we want to use a dry soil mix you can choose to mix up your own succulent soil mix or you can just buy a pre-mixed succulent mix. So the next step is going to be to start gently massaging the soil away from the babies and try to get that soil away from the root structure. What we're trying to do is kind of break down the soil so that we can get a view of where we want to cut on the rhizome. And the rhizome is essentially just kind of like that feeder stem. Uh, you can see it right here. It's like this super thick stem that kind of feeds from the mother plant to the baby plant. Some people call it rhizome. Some call it a runner. Whatever you want to call it, we have to cut it directly in the middle from the mother plant from the baby. And try to get a clean cut. It really helps if you have a really sharp scissors or an actual pair of shears that are designed to do this. And the question sometimes comes up, do you have to necessarily propagate the snake plant? Like, is it a must? And the answer is no. What you could actually do is just repot this whole mix of the mother plant and the babies into a larger size pot and they will just continually grow. But a lot of people don't really like the look of it because they want the snake plant closer together so it looks better. Hopefully that makes sense. So as you can see, we're literally doing the same process over and over for each snake plant baby. And you just directly want to cut halfway in between the mother plant and the baby plant on that rhizome, which is that, that like that heart stem, that core, that runner, whatever you want to call it. Now we have all the babies divided up or all the pups, whatever you want to call them. Now we're going to repot the mother plant. We put some fresh new soil at the bottom of this new pot because it's a lot deeper than the previous one. This snake plant's absolutely going to love that. And again, you want to use a succulent dry mix for these new babies and the repots. And after we put the mother plant in its new pot, what we're going to do is we are going to fill our new smaller pots with soil for the baby plants. What's awesome about this style of propagation for the snake plant is the fact that the babies almost have like a 100% success rate because they're just so full grown. Or I shouldn't say full grown, but they're just so far ahead of just like, say if you were to propagate just a leaf cutting, it takes forever. Whereas these already have a root structure and I feel like you're like nine months ahead of like a leaf propagation. And when you're planting these baby snake plants, I would advise that you put a little bit of soil on the bottom of the pot first, maybe like an inch or two, and then put the baby inside the pot and just fill the surrounding with that soil. 
And what you do with your new planted pups, that's totally up to you. I think we're going to sell these snake plants or else just kind of like give them away as gifts. That's kind of our new thing lately is just like giving away these little like babies that we replant. And it's kind of cool because like we've been dragging a lot of people that aren't into house plants like down the wormhole of just like trying to get them addicted to house plants. I highly advise you do this to other people because it's sort of addicting to like once you start growing this stuff. Uh, we see so many people get addicted. It's just like uh, because they get the plant and they're like, hey, I can actually keep this alive. And like, I feel amazing. This is cool. So, yeah, I think we got uh, all of our babies all well implanted here. So this was a great propagation. I'm really happy with the turnout here. Um, shout out to the girlfriend. She did an amazing job. This little like Amazon little uh, like tray thing works amazing for stuff like this. If like you can't go outside here in Minnesota, it's literally like there's snow on the ground. So we can't be doing this outside, but look at this guys. It's amazing. Well guys, I think that went pretty well So you got to hit me up in the comment section. Are you researching how to propagate snake plants? Do you have a mother plant with like tons of babies? Um, are you just looking to like sell them off hit me up in the comment section? I want to know from you guys. That's why I do these videos I'm looking for friends that also like house plants because I don't have any other friends You know what? I mean, it's me and the girlfriend and it's just like thank God I found her but um Hit me up in the comments. Please like and subscribe. If you like houseplants, chances are you're going to love our content.